long ago. And I was just so proud to have my family on that marae in Rotorua. And it is the first time I've actually stayed on the marae. You know. And um, it's actually left me feeling really good, really good about my own self, about my own life, about my brothers here, the whole lot. And I think everybody else feels the same way because we helped out something, we've brought out something down there that's happened that a lot of people are getting blamed for, you know. We want our people in Ruatoria to live in harmony, in peace, in tranquility like they did in the old days. No more war, no more fighting. All we want is peace here. And that day comes to be rejoicing. Sorry, we couldn't come and see you last night because of the weather. Too bad was blowing a bit too hard for us. <laughs> Thank you, brother. It's more of a success, actually. I mean, the, the effect that I had personally was a spiritual effect. I felt that I grew in those times. Um, I'd had this feeling for a while that uh, I especially needed to look back in the uh, past to get some direction for the future. And before, prior to going to Ruatoria, uh, uh, the media hype about the place was untrue. When we, when we arrived down there, we found that there was a very strong community. Uh, I can remember the uh, smiling faces on the kids and the uh, electric eyes. They were alive. Uh, I experienced Araha, I experienced people living together. There was a timelessness about, uh, about being down there. It could have been 1863. The, the Rotoria experience has brought back to me as an individual that, uh, that the people in that particular situation in the country don't move as fast and don't talk as fast but when you can wind down to their level it's it's uh, it's a feeling that every human being needs to feel when they when they realize that they're moving too fast I hope good harmony has come amongst the people of Rotorua and also for the people of New Zealand <laughs>